Welcome to Evidence. Many bar exam experts consider evidence to be the most important subject on the exam. And here's the case they make for evidence. Evidence touches just about any subject on the exam. And the nature of the underlying lawsuit in any given evidence problem will help to frame the issues presented. Now, personally, I think remedies is the most important subject on the exam. But evidence certainly is another very important topic. Important not because of its own inherent complexity, but important because it allows us to tie together a number of the other subjects. We can certainly see how an evidence problem can arise out of torts or contracts or property, but also evidence problems arise out of criminal law and procedure. So we will see issues from many of the different subjects as a subtext on evidence problems. We'll see that the National Conference of Bar Examiners is quite specific about what they think is important on the evidence outline. Across the country, various states have a somewhat different take on evidence. Many states require candidates to know some local law for evidence essays, but on the multi-state bar exam, all we are concerned about is the federal rules of evidence. And these rules are very straightforward. There is a fair amount of detail in this law, but the basic idea of evidence is very simple. The federal rules have a guiding principle, and that principle is this. All relevant evidence should be admitted unless there's a good reason to exclude it. So the basic idea is we want the trier of fact to hear all of the relevant evidence, and we will only exclude relevant evidence when there is an important reason to do so. So evidence requires us not only to know a great deal of law, but also we have to evaluate decisions made by a judge. That's the case more in evidence probably than any other subject, with the possible exception of civil procedure. Here in evidence, we have to be prepared to second-guess what a judge does, and that requires us to understand quite a bit about the role of a judge, the role the judge plays in the adjudicative process, because in evidence, oftentimes we will have to judge a decision made by a bench officer based on whether or not the judge abused his or her discretion, and that requires fairly clear thinking. Evidence is, among all of the subjects on the bar exam, along with civil procedure, the most rule-based subject on the exam. Evidence problems typically do have a correct answer, and particularly on the multi-state, you have to reason your way through to reach that answer. So let's briefly consider how evidence is organized by the National Conference of Bar Examiners. The examiners break this subject down into roughly seven pieces and the videos in this substantive seminar will basically track the outline of the National Conference of Bar Examiners. First, we will deal with the presentation of evidence. This is some of the most mechanical and also some of the most straightforward law from the, uh, the body of law that makes up evidence. We also will see that, that the National Conference of Bar Examiners thinks this little topic, presentation of evidence, is worth devoting one-third of the multi-state questions from evidence to. So we will focus on the presentation of evidence and we'll see there isn't a great deal to that law, but it's heavily tested on the multi-state and you'll probably learn it best by doing a lot of multi-state questions. But I can show you the high points fairly quickly. Next, we consider relevance. And as we consider relevance, we'll think also about why we might wish to exclude logical relevant evidence. So here, presentation is more important than relevance as far as the multi-state is concerned. But for essay purposes, relevance is perhaps some of the core of the material. We will focus our attention on relevance from the very beginning and we will do so with great care. The third big topic on the multi-state bar exam from evidence is real evidence, which is physical evidence like a bullet, some drugs, etc demonstrative and experimental evidence. This is a very finite body of law and it's fairly important. It's very commonly tested on the essays. The material is fairly straightforward and the multi-state bar examiners don't think it's very important. They don't test it heavily. From there, we turn to documents. 
documentary evidence. Again, this material is tested very heavily on the essays all across the country, but it isn't that important on the multi-state. We turn next to testimonial evidence. This is material that I would think would be key to evidence, but the National Conference of Bar Examiners doesn't agree. They don't test it very heavily. But the states more than make up for it. Testimonial evidence is very heavily tested on essays all across the country. Next, we turn to privileges. Privileges is another set of law that's really straightforward and I think fairly simple. You can definitely pick up some points by knowing privileges. Here again, the material is tested much more heavily on the state section, on the essays, than it is on the multi-state bar exam. And then finally, we turn our attention to hearsay. Hearsay is crucially important to the National Conference of Bar Examiners. They think that this material also is worth about one-third of the questions on the multi-state from evidence. So we'll focus on hearsay with a great deal of care. Again, there are correct answers to most hearsay problems, and we'll study it in the abstract here in the substantive seminar, and then when we get to the hypotheticals, we're going to go over hearsay in great depth. This material is tested heavily both on the multi-state and on the essays. The good news is it's tested in very much the same way over and over again. The more practice you do, the more familiar you will become with the material. So let's take a step back and think about how this material is tested on the multi-state. I've told you that one-third of the questions, 11 questions on the multi-state, are going to come from the presentation of evidence. Fair enough? We'll study it. Another one-third of the multi-state questions from evidence, another 11 questions, are going to come from hearsay. It's complicated, fairly difficult, and we'll focus on it intensely. That means that the rest of the outline, everything else in evidence, is worth only 11 questions on the multi-state. It's not heavily tested, but on the essays, that remaining material is tested quite heavily. So, before we get into the seminar and consider the substance of evidence, let me advise you about how to think about this material, particularly first with regard to the essays. There is a right way to approach this material, and it makes it much more straightforward. In my opinion, evidence is the easiest subject on the bar exam essays, and the reason I believe that is because there aren't really any real essay questions to be had in evidence. All that they can give you is variations on short answer questions. I think in my experience, the fewest items of evidence I have ever seen on an essay question are three. And that means that you basically split your time up into thirds and devote your attention to each of those three items of evidence. But it's much more common for four, five, or six items of evidence to be tested, and sometimes as many as nine or ten items of evidence. Well, at that point, you're just dealing with a racehorse, and you've got to be able to spot the issues, analyze the facts, and get out under time constraints. So here's how to do it. For any essay question dealing with evidence, you should think about it in exactly the same way. Assign a Roman numeral to each item of evidence. Letter A within that outline for each item of evidence should be logical relevance. Always explain what the evidence is, don't just refer to it, quote from it, or identify it, and then explain specifically why it is logically relevant. So step A, relevance. Step B is objections, and have a laundry list of objections in your mind that begins with objections involving relevance. So first we talk about logical relevance, then we go into objections, including any that deal with relevance. So before we get into objections that deal with topics other than relevance, we should complete an analysis of relevance, both logical and legal relevance. But legal relevance often involves objections that deal with relevance. We'll cover those early on in the substantive seminar. With regard to objections, it's important that you carefully read the questions presented on an essay, and typically you are being expected to come up with as many objections as you can, and you should raise the objections in a descending order of importance. In other words, lead with the strongest objection and then work your way down. Narrowly and specifically explain exactly how the objection works, and when it's convenient and uh, possible time-wise, explain the, the 
reason for the objection. Show that you understand why the law works the way it does. And then finally, for each item of evidence, reach a specific conclusion. Is the item of evidence admissible or not? Now, essay questions may be framed in such a way that your conclusion ought to answer whether or not the judge was correct. So a proper conclusion is not always the evidence is admissible. Sometimes the proper conclusion is the judge was correct in admitting the evidence. So the basic approach to evidence remains the same. We identify the testimony. We explain exactly why it is logically relevant. Then we go into all of the possible objections, leading off with objections involving relevance, and then going into the other objections. Finally, we reach a narrow, specific conclusion, which is directly responsive to the question presented. And that's it for an approach to evidence. We're going to see that the essays from this topic are really quite straightforward and fairly easy. As you practice multi-state questions, you are likely to find some of the most difficult questions on the entire MBE. So I will leave you with one final word about evidence. It's crucially important in this topic, even more so than in many of the others, that you read carefully. To my way of thinking, multi-state questions on evidence are reading questions even more than they are testing you on your knowledge of the law of evidence. As always, I advise you to annotate the outline that I provide in this micro-review rather than spending a huge amount of time with big phone book sized uh, lists of what the rules are. You'll learn the material better by practicing it. But here, when you get a bunch of stuff wrong from a particular pocket area, you really do need to go back and study it. Make sure you understand it, because you'll find that the material is tested very much in the same way over and over again.